Hi, I'm Chris Gibbs, and this is Ask a Developer. Our question today comes from Kay, and she asks, what do I need to know about this year's WWDC? That's a great question. For the lucky few who actually won WWDC lottery tickets, here's a few things you should know. The line outside Moscone for the keynote presentation starts really early and gets really long. If you want to be near the front of the room, I'd recommend getting in line around 1 to 2 a.m. And if you want, you can actually buy a folding chair from the downtown Walgreens, uh, or some will be handed out by vendors. If you need your caffeine fix, there's usually coffee handed out to those in line, as well as some inside uh, Moscone. While the sessions are great for learning about all the new features, the labs are just as valuable, if not more. When deciding between a session or a lab that you want to go to, definitely go for the lab. It's one of the best reasons to actually attend WWDC. And if you didn't win a ticket, don't worry. Last year, Apple posted the session videos at the end of each day, so it's just like being there. Now that you have your survival kit, here's what we're expecting to see announced with the main attraction, iOS 8. One really big feature we're expecting to see is split-screen multitasking on iPads. This would allow for two apps to be open at once, side by side. Power users will see a huge boost to their mobile productivity with this feature. This leads into the next thing we're expecting, XPC. XPC has been available in macOS for a while now, and many developers have been really wanting something like that for iOS. This would allow apps to provide communication services, remote view controllers, or even pass data back and forth with other apps when in a split screen mode. While we haven't seen anything conclusive about this being included in iOS 8 yet, we think it's a feature that would take iOS to the next level. Tim Cook has also hinted that Apple would soon be entering new product categories. There are speculations that this could mean mobile payment service if the next iPhone was equipped with NFC. Since NFC payments are now accepted at merchants worldwide, Apple is positioned to bring mobile payments to the mainstream. Whatever is announced at WWDC, we can be sure there will be some great new features in iOS 8 for both users and developers. And Apple is sure to have a few surprises up their sleeves. That's it for this week's Ask a Developer. Tweet your questions with hashtag AskADev or leave them in the comments below.